do it. Wow. Let's do it. <laughs> do it. Let's do it. Let's do it now. You'll die of old age. We'll die of climate change. Ah, no. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to watch the fairly local vegan, a zero waste vegan family that is making climate strike signs. Let's check it out. Hello, my beautiful rebels. In today's video, Hello. we are going to be going to the farmer's market. We are going to be getting stuff. And you getting guys stuff. are coming along for the ride. <laughs> In wow. my garden. Okay, super fake, super fake enthusiasm as always. This is a very fascinating phenomena that we can observe in the vegan community. I talk to many vegans and obviously ex-vegans. Many people that make the shift back to eating meat, they see that they return to their normal selves again. When you're vegan, your brain does not function. This is why you have a distorted perspective of this reality. When you are a vegan, you are deficient in all kinds of nutrients that are important for optimal brain function. Because of that, you think what you are doing is good. This lady was pointing the camera at her face and thought if she talks in that manner, this will appeal to the audience. Absolute insanity. In right now, I've been doing a lot of work. I've been getting some mm. of the sunflower heads. I cut down all our sunflowers because they were starting to fall over. A lot of them were broken at this point. I have one last one there and it is absolutely huge. Just ginormous. So I need to cut that one down. If you want to plant sunflowers, so be it. However, to really be so delusional and believe that this will feed your family just shows how far the nutritional deficiency has come. Out with a saw. Unbelievable. <laughs> and we've started harvesting tomatoes from the garden, even though they are green because Boy, it is so cold at night now that they don't ripen. Without really, really hot nights, they don't ripen. We still have really, really warm days, sometimes up to 35 oh. degrees. So yeah, I really like ripening them in the windows right now. I have so many over here. I have still more tomatoes over here. I have so many tomatoes ripening in my windows, but it is wow. well, well worth it. Good morning, guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, and now the kids. Good morning. Good morning. What are we doing today? Um, having fun. I want to have, have I fun. Want to eat bread. You want to eat bread today? <laughs> but where bread. are we going? I want to eat bread. This makes me so sad. But, but where are we going today? The United States of Captain America. The United States of Captain America? Yes, the United States of Kids are obviously a very sensitive subject, so therefore judging other people's kids is not something that I like to do. However, looking at those kids, you already start seeing the same eyes that you always see with those vegans. They're already sunken in and they are just toddlers. Today we are going under the river, through the tunnel, and coming out on the other side in Detroit, and we are going to be going to the Eastern Market there. Before we go though, I just want to show you my tiny little freezer. I have all these jars. These are all jars of roasted tomatoes that I then put in jars and then froze. So I am freezing Why? things What's from the garden for tomatoes? the winter, and this is how I freeze tomatoes. I showed What's you guys you how I did them? this last year. Basically, I get garden tomatoes, I put them on a roasting pan, roast them, then put them in mason jars and make sure I have some air space right there. Okay, again, no, this is not a exclusive carnivore channel and everybody that eats something else, something else than meat is bad. Not at all. If you want to eat tomatoes, so be it. No worries, eat your tomatoes. However, I'm really wondering what are those tomatoes for? Why would you freeze so many of them? What's the purpose? What kind of nutrition will you get out of tomatoes? Please enlighten me. That's very, very important or it'll push the lid off the jar and then I put them in my freezer and then I can use them anytime I want in the winter. So this is all stuff from the garden that, that I have harvested. I have sage here that I dried in my dehydrator. I also dry things by just hanging them up and letting them dry for a long period of time. I have dehydrated tomatoes right here. I bought tomatoes. I have rose hips. I uh. have mint for tea. And I have catnip for tea. And I have lemon balm for tea. And this okay. is a drying rack, which is folded up currently. This is where I dry a wow. lot of the herbs. Okay, great, fantastic, absolutely beautiful. I am amazed. 
So this is a perfect example of what you can cultivate as a vegan in a modern day setting, right? So you have a couple of herbs, you have tomatoes, you have a couple more tomatoes, and then you have tomatoes. So now if I look at my family members in Macedonia, you will see, yes, they are cultivating plant foods as well. However, they would never believe that this will feed them through winter. It is supplemental. It is something that you can snack on. It is by no means your bulk of nutrition. They will cultivate a couple of plants and they will raise animals. And then you slaughter the animals and eat a couple of plants on the side. Here you can see it. It is an absolute beautiful display. None of this food will bring you through winter. You will starve. Herbs. So I have some sage going right now. I have some sunflowers. I have some mint. Unbelievable. So yeah, that's where I dry a lot of things. Right now I can't do roasted tomatoes in the oven she? anymore because our oven actually broke. But the stove top works. So we are keeping the stove slash oven until it fully breaks Fake down. Because that's what makes sense to me. I don't want to throw out something that still half works. And I know you guys are going to want to know how the garden is doing. And I had to pull basically all my squashes out. And so they did succumb to the mildew. I just wasn't fast enough. I didn't know what I was working against. But I do know that the solution I sprayed does work because they were able to keep... Again, you do not need me to tell you that none of this is proper food. It is just vegetation. You see this and you know this is not food for me. Simple. The vine's alive for just a little bit longer. Mm. Just wasn't able to keep the overall plant alive and I got squash bugs. So these things happen. I have yes. to learn as I go, I guess. Exactly. That is a very good point. To rely on vegetation alone is impossible right you still have the privilege that you can go to your farmer's market to your supermarket and get some other vegan food however if you would have to rely on your land you would never be able to feed yourself or your family based in our area including detroit and the windsor area because everyone was getting mildew so it wasn't something i was doing it was the climate it was the environment <laughs> it was the temperatures that we were uh, getting exactly it is not reliable at all this is why people rely on animals it really doesn't take much you let some cows graze you let some goats graze that is pretty much it you feed some chickens if you would just add couple of chickens into your little homestead there you would be so much better off this is total insanity why do you do that to yourself so it wasn't just me Head to the market off to the market it exactly incredibly because you cannot sustain yourself today it's 30 degrees not even including the humidex okay guys we are at the eastern market in detroit I'm gonna go check it out <laughs> This obsession with filming vegetables, man. For what? Great. Tomatoes, isn't it? <laughs> Garlic. Awesome. None of this will feed you. Oh my god. Even from a vegan standpoint, you have absolutely no calories in your diet whatsoever. Bell peppers, tomatoes, garlic, no calories whatsoever. If you would at least rely on potatoes. Jesus, who is that guy? Tomatoes. <laughs> she loves tomatoes, huh? Hmm, why is that? Popcorn for the kids. Awesome. Fantastic eating habits. Just getting the kids hooked on sugar from an early age. Oh man. What do you think, Daddy? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yep white candida tongue fantastic there we see vegan deterioration at its finest the yellow teeth looking translucent and we can go a little bit forward and see the candida tongue there it is absolutely beautiful display of vegan malnutrition see the white coating that is candida uh, pretty cool <laughs> Wow. 
oxalate leaves by no means is this nutrition either again as i said what is really striking to me is that they are not shopping for potatoes squashes something that at least will give you some nutrition really strange <laughs> I'll get some. Yeah. Just got out of the Eastern Market and now we are at a playground playing. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh. Look at her, Joe. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, guys, we just got home from the market and doing a bunch of stuff. We did the playground, we went to Whole Foods, we did a bunch of things, and you now we are home. Foods. I didn't show you guys. You went shopping, you went shopping, you went to the playground, you went shopping, and now you're home. That is the vegan reality. You're always looking for food. That is it. You have nothing else to do in your life but foraging for food. It's this, but I bought two pawpaws at the market. I just ate them. They were so, so good. And this? now I'm going to save the seeds. And I, I will be planting those to grow pawpaw trees. So I'm pretty excited about that. I got some organic cucumbers. Wow. Get two, so you have one left to eat. And I got these really, really big collard greens to make wraps with. And even though we brew our own kombucha, I love trying different kombuchas. And so I bought my favorites at Whole Foods. I got the Synergy watermelon, which I really, really enjoy. Just sugar water. Always the same. If you're vegan, you can't just drink regular water. You have to get the kombucha in. Why do you need this mushroom that is feeding on sugar? I got the Synergy Guava Goddess, which I really, really like. <laughs> Guava Goddess. And I got the Health Aid sure. Kombucha. If it says health, it has to be healthy. This was on sale. Of course. And the pomegranate one. And I really like that they use Man. cold pressed juice in their stuff. So mm. I really like that company. Really cool. It doesn't matter if it is cold pressed. After a couple of hours, it gets rancid. This is our kombucha that we're brewing. We have two big jugs of it. And we also have these bottles that we reuse from a different company. So we're using a different company's bottles. Wow. And these are strawberry the music, rose hip kombucha that we are doing a second ferment on. And now I'm going to dig into these kale chips that I made. Kale is super toxic. Not even ruminant animals would eat it. This has been discussed over and over again. It is crazy that the vegans just do not catch up with the newest nutritional science. Cashew cheese on top and I dehydrated cheese. them and now they are going in my tummy. It's disgusting. Why would that go into your tummy? What is that? Jesus Christ. What does this woman eat, man? How is this human food? Look at this, man. It looks like a bush. Oh, this is absolute starvation hysteria. This is complete Making some mental sage illness. sage bundles today. Oh. Pretty cute. <laughs> what? What are you doing with it? The husband in the background eating again. I need two again. big sage bundles. Okay. To smudge the house and now they are drying up there, but they're pretty big. I'm pretty impressed. All right, guys, I am making wraps with my Jesus collard Christ. greens that I bought at the Detroit market. Oh, man. I have some. Okay, fantastic. So the big fat oxalate leaf and obviously the dairy mimicking food on top, goitrogen containing tomatoes. A little bit of garlic, sure, antibiotics, why not, right? As I said in previous videos, the whole anti-nutrient thing should be well understood by now. Of course, the vegans will never understand. They will be in denial until their health fails. However, I'm going to look at this from a vegan standpoint. And I'm going to say, you're not eating enough calories. Because you really are not eating enough calories. This whole thing takes more calories to digest than you would extract out of it. Of course, you won't extract any micronutrients out of it because you have all the inhibitors in it. However, again, there is no rice, no potatoes, no nothing. And not saying rice and potatoes are healthy. But if you are a vegan, you have to live off something. How does this family survive? Cashew cheese. I have some salsa I just made. Jeez. I have some carrot shreds. I'm going to be oh. putting maybe some cucumber in here as well. Put it in. So yummy. Can't wait to eat this. Mm, can't wait. All right, and here we have the most toxic substance in the vegan diet, cashews. The shell and the skin of the nut are difficult to remove, and inside them are highly caustic acids that burn the skin. The women's hands are badly damaged. Okay, so what are we doing? Making fermented cashew cheese. Let's do it. Wow. Let's do it. <laughs> Doing it.
Let's do it. Let's do it now. I'm gonna make two batches. So we're gonna use half of our soaked cashews. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the lemon on top. You need it. Why would you do that to yourself, man? Cashews are absolutely destructive to your health. Nobody, nobody would ever eat that amount of cashews. Even in regions like Africa, where you can get cashews, people would snack on some. Nobody would make a meal out of this. Gotta milk the lemons. Uh, we're gonna add some salt here. Fuck Picked me. up some dehydrated chives from the bulk barn because I love chives. We didn't have enough. Where's the garlic? Yeah, where is it? Hey, baby. Thank Kill off everything that lives in your gut. She brought me my shoes. Do it now. So what are we doing now? We are adding probiotics. So we're emptying the capsules. <laughs> what? And pulling them apart. Why? I'm just gonna dump those in there. So you put the garlic in, which is a natural antibiotic, and then you put probiotics in it. Vegan logic. And what do those do? These are going to add some live culture to our cheese. <laughs> it's not cheese. Because it's fermented cheese. Oh, there you can see his skin looks absolutely sick. Again, when the vegan diet is so healthy, why do you look like that? Why do you have candida overgrowth? Why are your teeth translucent and yellow? And why do you have acne? Hmm? Just a question. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Are you reading a book? A library book! For the hundredth time, this child hopefully has been breastfed and by that definition again is not vegan. If you are vegan, just a little reminder again, please ask yourself if cholesterol is so bad, if IGF-1 is so bad, why is it in mother's milk? I have some homemade sauerkraut here and we're going to be using a little bit of the brine from it. They are obsessed with fermenting their food because highly likely they believe they will improve their digestion. Of course their digestion is suffering because they are eating vegan in the first place. And, oh, Always the same. Yep. Why is it red? So now we have our bag hanging, mm. filled with cashew cheese, dripping into this bowl here. And we're going to let it drip into there and just sit there oh, fermenting yeah. for the next few days. And mm. then we will have fermented cashew cheese. Fantastic. If you would like a fermented cheese recipe or a bunch of fermented cheese recipes, <laughs> go check out my website, thefairylocalvegan.com. Mm. It's all in my ebook, over 160 pages of wow. recipes in there, all gluten-free, all amazing, all plant-based, mm. all really good for you. I need those recipes right now. No, it's not really good for you. What is the reasoning behind that? What is the reasoning for you telling me that it is really, really good for me? All the food quote unquote food that you showed in this video is highly toxic, super low in calories and will destroy your gut health. How is this good for me? We haven't seen what the kids are eating. That would be interesting to see aside from the popcorn. Hey Zoki, what are you doing? I'm making signs. You'll die of old age. We'll die of climate change. Ah, no, 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 no. Imagine how terrible it must be growing up in this family, man. Honestly, I'm trying to be silent here, but I can't. Those kids will grow up and they will absolutely hate you for what you've done to them. You're malnourishing them. You're brainwashing them. You're creating useful idiots. You tell them if they are eating cashew cheese, they're gonna save the planet. Come on, man. What is wrong with you? Pretty good sign. Okay, okay. Indeed, you're doing a perfect job. Don't worry. You're doing awesome. 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 Indoctrinate the children from a young age. Brainwash them. Make them into slaves. Your sign says you'll die of old age, will die of climate change. What is this here's an orange for the elf? Oh. <laughs> Environmentalism and veganism go hand in hand nowadays, right? You have idiots that truly believe cow farts are killing us. They truly believe that ruminant animals that are grazing are 
killing us. This is the reality that we live in. You have idiots on the streets dancing and shouting, forcing malnutrition upon their children, make them create little signs and banners, put them on the street, use them for your dogma, use them for your idiotic belief system and create a whole new generation of useful idiots. This is what veganism is. Disgusting, man. Oh. Circle. And while we're working, we're snacking on these peanut on sugar. butter balls. Not yet. On so sugar and oil. Right. That's what you're okay. snacking on. It's called private strike. Again. Oh, f me, man. This hurts. This really hurts. This is the epitome of idiocracy. This is what our society has come to. There you have a family absolutely starved to death, sitting there, painting signs, going on the streets, demonstrating whilst feeding on sugar balls, right? Peanut butter, aflatoxins, sugar, right? Chocolate. How is that nutrition? All I've seen today is your children eating popcorn and chocolate balls. What the? We're gonna go to a climate strike and we're gonna walk with our sides. Don't be like me, be better than me. Yeah! Good job. Don't be a fossil fuel. I'm a fossil fuel. This kid doesn't even know what that means, man. Call child services now. The dirty say magical peace. Goodbye. Dirty day magical peace. What? Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Poor children. Oh. <sighs> Getting ready for life in the rice cooker. Of course, she has a vegan tattoo as well. Obviously. What else did I expect? Anyways, guys, this is the video. Absolute insanity. Absolute malnourishment. This was the first time that I saw this. So this was a live reaction. And it was more shocking than I expected it to be. This is the modern day stereotype. The modern day consumer. The useful idiot that believes through planting a couple of herbs and tomatoes, they will save the planet. And as if it wasn't enough that they are malnourishing themselves, they are dragging down their whole family. They are malnourishing their children and they are promoting this insanity here on YouTube for everybody to watch. This insanity has to stop and this is why I run this channel. Every time vegans head over here and spam in the comment section, Oh, this is so repetitive. Why do you say always the same? Stop hating on the vegans. Dude, you have to hate on those insane people. This has to be shown. People have to realize that this is severe malnutrition. This is absolute insanity and it will wreck human lives. Those kids are off to a bad start. Imagine growing up in this family, man. Those kids will achieve absolutely nothing. They will be protesting on the streets for a goal that they don't even understand. They will suffer from malnutrition. They'll probably be 1 meter 50. They won't grow up. Their brains won't develop. All for this false ideology. This absolute doctrine of the devils. Alright guys, but this is it for today. Absolutely repulsed with this. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. I didn't like their video, that's for sure. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. If you want to support Bobby's Perspective, guys, all the links are in the description box. We have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's Perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's Perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo, or even raw. All right, but this is it for today. As always, guys, much love and peace.